T minus 30 seconds. Hey, this is Warren Redlick. This is my edit of the Salcom 1B launch that SpaceX achieved today, along with two small satellites. I edited out some of the slow parts or sped them up. T minus 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And liftoff, the Falcon's first East Coast Polar Launch, Ola Argentina. We're now 40 seconds in the flight. Falcon 9 has taken off. It's cleared the tower, and we're currently throttling down to prepare for maximum Q. Uh, that's the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. It's at 1 minute 12 seconds. Vehicle is supersonic. vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. You've heard it. We've reached uh, max Q. At this point, the loads in the vehicle become less and less as the atmosphere gets thinner. We're now able to throttle those Merlin engines back up. And uh, at its maximum power, like right now, the, the vehicle consumes started. more than 700 gallons of fuel per second. Um, all is looking good with our first stage's trajectory. Uh, the next couple events, uh, there are five events, one after another. First, our main engine cuts off uh, on our first stage. The stages will separate. Uh, our first stage will then flip around to uh, begin its landing attempt. Uh, the second stage's uh, Merlin vacuum engine will ignite for second engine start one. The first stage's boost back burn will start. It's one of three burns to help us land. Uh, they occur one after another in about 15 seconds. And this is that first polar orbit. Uh, if, if the clouds, if you can see through the clouds here, it's, you'll, see some, you'll see some unique views that you haven't seen from Falcon 9 over Florida. And we have Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And the ignition. All right, all of those events happen successfully one after another. This Stay boost back burn, uh, it'll last about 40 seconds. As you see it on the left-hand side of the screen, on the right-hand side, you will see our uh, second stage uh, carrying those three uh, satellites to orbit. Our two fairing halves will now jettison to expose uh, the satellites to space. See the first stage is already being a turnaround and you can see the uh, nitrogen from our attitude control system helping guide it back. Fairing separation confirmed. There you see our two Hyper fairing halves signal have, Bermuda. have jettisoned. Uh, you can even see them in, in the background there on our M back engine and you can see them from land too. Uh, it'll take us some time to get those uh, to come back down. We'll keep you posted on the update. We are T plus four minutes and 13 seconds into flight. Everything is looking great for tonight's mission. Uh, on the right hand side of your screen is a view of our second stage, sp specifically its Merlin vacuum engine. We also call it MVAC engine for short. It's currently in the first of its two planned, first and only planned MVAC burn. The first burn should last for about another four minutes. On the left-hand side of your screen is a view uh, of our first stage looking downward. It's continuing to fall back towards Earth. The next milestone for the first stage is its first stage entry burn. Falcon 9 needs to execute an entry burn to slow itself down before hitting the dense parts of the atmosphere. 
Without this second burn, relying on the atmosphere alone to slow Falcon 9 down would put unnecessary strain on the rocket. That entry burn is coming up at T plus six minutes and 10 second seconds. Second is following nominal trajectory. Acquisition of signals out Texas. You may have also noticed that we've deployed our four hypersonic grip fins. Those are the honeycomb-like structures that you see on the left-hand side of your screen. They help to guide the first stage back during descent by moving the center of pressure on the vehicle. Again, those bursts of gas are nitrogen. It's absolutely normal. And those help to orient the rocket during its descent back towards Earth. And we're about 20 seconds away from our second burn, the entry burn. Stage two FTS has saved. Stage one entry burn startup. And three Merlin engines have relit and are currently slowing the first stage down before it hits those dense parts of the atmosphere. Second stage on the right hand side of your screen is continuing to perform as expected. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And that is our second burn completed. And as we mentioned earlier, we are going to be attempting to recover this booster back at land on landing zone one. The first stage has stage one more one burn left. Is saved. That is the landing burn. It begins just before second we touch down and provides the booster with a soft descent before we land. During this period, the landing legs will also be deploying. You might be able to catch it right before we touch down. They're stowed at the base of the vehicle and made up of state-of-the-art carbon fiber and aluminum honeycomb. Stage one transonic. You see the cape getting closer and closer. Uh, what a cool view. The first stage is passing through the cloud layers right now. Stage one landing burn startup. And here comes Falcon 9 attempting its fourth landing. Stage one landing leg deploy. And you could not ask Stage for a landing better burn. landing than that. Falcon 9 has landed once again. That is number four for this first stage booster and the 58th overall of an orbital class rocket. What a way to start off tonight's mission. Uh, the second stage and our primary mission are still continuing and uh, remain healthy. Uh, the next milestone for the second stage is second engine cutoff one, also known as SECO one, and that is coming up at T plus 10 minutes and five seconds. During second engine cutoff one, we'll be shutting down the second stage's MVAC engine. And as we approach this period, we'll be listening very closely for two callouts verification of SQL 1 and then confirmation of a good orbital insertion. Both are going to be critical to ensuring that we deliver all three payloads to their intended orbits tonight. Nominal orbit insertion. And that is the other call out we were waiting to hear on uh, a good orbital insertion. In just about three minutes, we will have the first of our three deployments. Until then, we are going to take a short break and be back around the T plus 13 minute mark for the deployment of the Southcom 1B satellite. Well, welcome back from our mini coast phase. Uh, for those of you just joining us, we successfully have launched our Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral on a polar orbit trajectory. We had a successful stage separation, a successful land landing, the fourth landing for this uh, booster, and we're waiting for the deployment of the SALCOM 1B satellite. Uh, it's just about 10 seconds, 15 seconds away. It's the second and final satellite in this constellation. Uh, we first launched uh, its sister satellite, SALCOM 1A, in the fall of 2018.
Assault comm separation confirmed. All right, you've seen it, we heard it. Uh, successful deployment of that SALCOM 1B satellite. And as a reminder, this satellite and SALCOM 1A satellite's goal is to gather soil moisture. It helps increase uh, the productivity and competitiveness of the agriculture sector. Um, it generates, helps us generate risk maps that can help control crop disease. It helps uh, implement better fertilizer systems and provide early flood warnings. Uh, these two SALCOM satellites work together with Italy's Cosmo SkyMed constellation, uh, and they work together by providing up to 225 Earth images per day. But we still do have two satellites left to deploy. Uh, we're gonna go into another coast phase. This one will last about 45 minutes. We're gonna take a break, but we're leaving you with an animation that shows where we are in that coast phase. We'll be back at about T plus one hour for the deployment of the TIVAC 0172 and GNOMES-1 rise to our satellites. We'll see you then.